The truth is finally here. Now that the update has finally released, we can uncover the truth that CRK players have been trying to find out since Black Pearl Cookie's release. Is Lord Oyster Cookie really evil? Actually, I always thought he must have been evil up until recently. Because when we finally got to see the story, there's a chance that Lord Oyster has no evil intentions at all. Or maybe he turns evil in the end. No spoilers, please. Because I know some people people are speedrunning the stages. When I saw the second part of the story, where Lord Oyster and White Pearl Cookie was falling in love, I really wanted it to be genuine, because they looked so cute and happy together. But I can't help but feel sad knowing that White Pearl would become evil, because Lord Oyster betrayed her somehow. Someone give these cookies therapy. I'm worried because the ending we get in this update, be it a good ending or bad ending for them, we will never get another continuation of their story. Because in the current timeline, Lord Oyster has already been dead for 100 years. We will never get an ending of them reconciling, unless Black Pearl somehow meets his spirit. Just like what happened between Cotton and Sherbet Cookie. And this makes me wonder, what in the world is Sea Fairy's reaction to all of this? Like, why didn't she talk to Black Pearl Cookie or something? It seems like my girl Sea Fairy dipped the moment her kid went emo phase. What a bad parent. Talk about red flags. Moonlight Cookie is shaking. But I would be genuinely be Loki disappointed if she just forgot about White Pearl Cookie. Like damn, bro. I really want to see Black Pearl Cookie happy too. Instead of being a grumpy old lady. Girls grumpier than Oyster Cookie like damn. How about you guys? What do you think? Is Lord Oyster Cookie truly evil? Or is he somehow misunderstood? Comment down below. Until next time, folks.